Ariel, how was the trip in? Trip was great. Uh, had a good trip. Got out of Laramie just fine. Um, no problems there. Um, got in and um, just been doing our daily routine. And that changes from day to day, but it's daily at least. So we're here and uh, everything's good. Initially, your plan was the first practice on Thursday. Everything hold the form on that? Yeah. Was Thursday yesterday? <laughs> it, was that yesterday? That we seems about right. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we had our first practice yesterday. Um, we got one later this afternoon, early evening. Um, so, and then one tomorrow in Austin. So, yeah, everything's, everything's going on schedule and, uh, you know, just uh, – uh, everything's like I said, everything so far is, is, uh, is going well. So Gerald, now that you've, I guess, had a chance to watch some film on UCLA and get acquainted, what's, what's your impression? Maybe what's the biggest way that they'll challenge you guys? Oh, uh, they're going to challenge us in a lot of ways. Um, you know, they're a very talented team. They score in a variety of ways. They can uh, obviously shoot the ball really well. Um, very good three-point shooting team overall. They can score inside. Uh, they 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 can attack you with the ball on the floor. Uh, their transition, they they push the ball at you. We've watched clips of you know. I mean, we we got clips of their five rebounding and pushing the ball down in transition. So, you know, they're going to present things that that we just haven't seen this year. You know, we 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 have played nobody all year where the the five leads the break. You know, and so that 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 kind of sometimes can cause you some problems and how you're going to play. Um, you know, obviously they're physical. They're very aggressive, very, very aggressive on the boards, uh, offensive board. So yeah, they're going to, they're, they're going to, they're going to pose us, uh, pose us some challenges, but you know, like I told the kids yesterday, they still got to guard us also, you know, they, they have to guard our motion. They have to, um, you know, do some things also, but, uh, yeah, they're gonna, uh, if I, if I had to look at one major thing or two, I'm going to say two, uh, their offensive transition and their offensive rebounding really, really, uh, really concerns me. Gerald, uh, I want to ask you about Quinn. How deserving was that conference tournament MVP for her? You know, I think that, you know, I thought she deserved, she played, you know, when you play, when you put together four, you know, success games like she had, that's, that's, it's pretty amazing. You know, she, once again, she, she had uh, the task of guarding, uh, the best perimeter players on all of those teams, um, you know, uh, just in our normal rotation, she had to play the two guard and score. She had to play the point guard, you know, when the rotation went around with Ole in. Uh, yeah, I thought she had, I thought she had an excellent tournament. Thought she scored the ball well. Um, you know, I, I, I thought she, I thought she was very, very deserving of that, of that award. Gerald, I wanted to ask you about uh, Diane David's daughter. I had a uh, nice chat with her yesterday, and her her journey to Laramie was kind of unconventional. With I mean, her story is pretty wild. I'm curious, how did you kind of uh, become aware of her, and what made you want to bring her in from Niagara? Transfer portal. I mean, that's you know, I mean, I mean, you know, right now it it, it it's just crazy. The transfer portal, if you got on right now, it's just crazy with the number of athletes that are already in the transfer portal and you'd be going really, uh, that kid just, that kid just started 22 games for so-and-so, but yeah, transfer portal. So we looked and, you know, we, we, we thought we were going to be in need of, of that position to help us somebody with experience. She wasn't the only one we recruited at that position, but you know, we, we narrowed it down just like you do with high school kids to, to a couple of them. And to be quite honest, one, 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 uh, one young lady that, that we were interested in didn't choose us uh, another transfer. And, you know, we visited with Diney, uh, you know, I'll tell you what a great, what a great person she is. It's a side note. Okay. I get, I get sidetracked here, but I'm bored cause I'm locked in the room. So I'm going to take up you guys' time. Now we, we, when we were visiting with her, right. Cause when you look at her name, to me, it looks like Dagny, right? So, she let us go on recruiting her and I'm sitting there calling her Dagny. How's everything Dagny? How's this Dagny? And then finally one day I thought, you know, I better ask her this. It's kind of simple. Is that how your name really is? And she said, no, my name's Diney. You pronounce it Diney. And I said, why would you let us pronounce your name, you know, through this whole process wrong? And she says, well, I figured you were close enough and 
you seem nice, so that was okay. Uh, so that that's the kind of person that she is. And then when you visit with her, you know, when you when you visit with her, um, you know, holy cow, she she already came in with one master's degree. She knew what her plan was, and and you know that she wanted what she wanted, and we had the program. There was a lot of things that just fit. And then just visiting with her, I thought she was, I always call it, uh, I always use the term and I have forever. Uh, I just thought she was a good environmental fit. I mean, I thought she, I thought she fit the community of Laramie. She wasn't, it wasn't gonna, the weather wasn't gonna be a factor. The size wasn't gonna be, you know, a big concern. Uh, I knew that her personality, she was gonna do really, really well with the people because she's, she's just a, a great person to talk to. And, you know, I just thought it was going to be a, a really good fit. And, you know, the way it's turned out, you know, for her uh, playing first year in the system, uh, you know, getting that, getting a, an understanding of that, I, you know, it, everything, everything worked out. I think it's worked out for her. She's going to leave with two master's degrees um, and, uh, you know, definitely has worked out well for us. Coach, the social media team for you guys does a really nice job, and they put out a video of you guys practicing. And I was noticing in the eyes of the players that they look like they're they're not intimidated by the moment. How would you say they are handling the moment? I think they're handling the moment really, really good. And you're right. Our, our crew does a great job. I mean, our, our, our videos and our social media and what Kevin does, along with Derek and other people, I have to take my hats off to them. You know, I, I'm not a social media guy. So you go, how do I even know what goes on? Uh, like I said, I check Facebook once or twice, but my, my wife and, you know, family members, my son and those guys, they're all involved with it. And they're always telling me, Oh, you have seen this. This was really cool. And, and that was really cool. So you are exactly right. First, they do a great job. You know, I, I think our women are handling this whole situation really well. You know, we, we're in, we were in the Alamo Dome yesterday. We got to practice in the Alamo Dome. That's where we practiced yesterday. And obviously, you know, come on, you're going to be blown away by it a little bit. I'm blown away by it. You walk into this big, massive area and, you know, you're, you're on the court and, you know, you get to see everything that's in there. And, you know, there's a, there's a two, two uh, video boards up there as big as, uh, you know, our, our arena, to be honest with you. I mean, it, there's huge and you got the big, steamboat up there and you know everything's going and they're all taking pictures but like you said when it was time to start practice you know they were into it and and you know uh, you know ready to play and you know like we talk about and we'll talk about it more today and we'll talk about it tomorrow um, you know yesterday was more about ourselves you know we just we kind of want to try to get back into a routine with one day of practice just working on us a little bit and now the next two will be a little bit of us and more of a scout but you know, one of the things we talk about and we'll just keep talking about it. And every time we watch film is, you know what, you got to respect these guys. There's no doubt. I mean, they're a very, very good team. You know, they're, they're where they're at for a reason, but you can't fear them. You, you can't do that with anybody. You know, that's what we talked about. You know, when you're, when you're playing the Boise's or the Fresno's or anybody CSU down there, you've got to respect them, but you can't fear them. You have to step up and you have to understand that, you know, I just got to be me and, and, and we just got to be us. And, uh, you know, and if you do that, uh, go out and compete and then the rest just takes care of itself. But if you fear them, then, then it, it is going to be a lot, it's going to be a long night for us. On that note, coach, I spoke with uh, coach close of UCLA a few days ago and the two words you used to describe your team are smart and fearless. How would you describe their team? <laughs> talented, hard playing. Um, they, they play together. They're disciplined. Um, they, they're, I mean, they're, I could go on and on, but you know, if I got to get down, if I got to get down to two words, I'm going to say they, they, they play hard and they're, and, and, and they're relentless. I mean, they, the way they rebound and the way they attack is, 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 uh, it, it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I, I kind of, don't write this down in front of to the team till after it's done. I was watching the kid go get offense rebounds kind of scared me a little bit, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get by that and get through it, but they do, they, they rebound really, really well. They're disciplined. You know, they run, they run some nice sets. Um, and like I said, the tough thing that, that we, in our league, what we don't see is they have five plus players that can all score. You know, when you're a team defense like us, 
you know, we got to try to push a couple, a couple of the main scores, make them do something, you know, a little bit different than they want to, and we can help. We're going to have a hard time finding somebody to help, you know, or do, or, or scheme something with this team, just because they're all capable of, they're all capable of scoring. They're all capable of shooting threes. And, you know, that's, that, that's, that's, uh, that's going to be a tall task for, um, for us to handle. Coach, how much do you think the uh, tournament was a kind of an establishment for Tommy Olson to to just be more visible? I guess with her, with her uh, efforts. Yeah, I thought Tommy had a great tournament. You know, I think that I, I, it goes back to like the same was with Quinn. I think I think Tommy was Tommy, and she put together four great games. And you go, well, what does that mean? Tommy's Tommy. Um, you know, uh, we had a another uh, media a media thing yesterday and you know they said so what are you going to do defensively with this and what do you do with this and how did Tommy get nine steals and we said well we let Tommy be Tommy and you know you guys that watch us play understand that means sometimes Tommy's ball hawking sometimes she's diving down sometimes she jump on the lane but Tommy can do those things um, I think what happened for us and what happened for for Tommy and we just had that discussion and she she had to do it is she stepped up and she hit some shots, um, you know, and that's something that we've wanted all year. Um, you know what? I, I, I it's got to continue. It's not, it is what, I, what I'm telling our, what I'm telling our team, our young women is, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not playing for one game right now. We're not, we're not, we're not practicing for one game. We're practicing for the future because a lot of these people are coming back. So for us to continue to grow, we have we have to still do what we what we're doing and still improve. So Tommy still has to look to score and be aggressive when those opportunities are there. Um, you know that's the only way you get better. That's the only way a program grows is you got to keep keep looking to the future, keep going, you know, keep keep going and go. We're prepping for one game, but we're also prepping for the long term. For Grace. Um... She misses those two free throws, I think, 16 seconds left. 13 seconds later, she steps up, she drains two. For a freshman, what does that say about her, just to put those two behind her, step up, hit two big free throws? As it just, once again, I think it just speaks of who she is and what she's established herself through practice. You know, a lot of people go, you know, back, back before when we were talking about the tournament and some of the post-tournament uh, – interviews and you know even the week after was like well what did you tell grace i didn't tell grace nothing you know she missed it too. I, didn't, I didn't tell her nothing it wasn't like she it wasn't like she missed the two on purpose but you notice we put her right back in because throughout the year in, in practice she's proved that she's the one that can hit the free throws that's why you practice that's what we always try to explain is practice is a game that's that that's that's where you're showing us what you can do when, 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 you know, when the game's going, I, I'm not, I've never have been a believer of, well, coach, if you put me in during the game, I'm a game player. Well, you, you your games every day, then in practice, you better think practice is a game and show me you deserve to play. And that's what grace, you know, showed during time is that she'll be able, if she gets fouled, you know, I got the utmost confidence she's going to step up and hit, hit two more. And she did. And I mean, she did it as, you know, old term. She did it as cool as a cucumber, man. She just stepped up, did a routine, hit the first one and hit the second one. And, and, you know, that's what you want to see. Uh, that's what you want to see from all your players, not just young players. That's what you like to see from all your players, but yeah, credit to her to be able to do that at that key time. Coach, you brought this up a little bit earlier. I just kind of wanted to follow up on it. Was have you been able to kind of appreciate the moment without strictly focusing on prep? Um, that's a tough question, uh, Sean. I, yeah, you know what? Uh, you're. It's just right now. It's just really, really. It's 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 it's. I think we're enjoying the moment. I think that there's some cool things that you still have had. You know, you you yeah. Especially when we first got here, you go over your. You know, I'm sure you've seen the pictures of, of the kids in front of the NCAA, you know, stuff and, you know, all that's really cool. And like I said, the Alamo Dome and whatever. But in order for this thing to, you know, for us to be able to pull this off, and I'm not just saying us, I'm talking about all the teams in the NCAA, you know, 
there's not a lot of there's not a lot of freedoms and not a lot of activities like that may have been going on in the past. You know, we we basically go get tested every day. We 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 leave the motel, we walk down, it's about a 15 minute walk and you get outside and it's really nice down here. And you go in, you you get tested, you wait 30, 45 minutes, somewhere like there to you get your test back. And then you basically are back out, walk back and you're, you're in the motel, you know, you're in your room. And then um, if you wanna go watch film or go to a meeting room, you make a time and you go back. So I, the experience is great. And I know it's gonna be, I know it's gonna be tremendous to walk out Monday night and play. Uh, it's That's gonna, as you get closer, I think, you know, everybody's getting a little more excited. But right now, everything is just such a, a closed environment, so that you know, uh, no positives happen, or you know, you're not you're not spreading it amongst each other or or your team. That you know, it's uh, it's also uh, it's also kind of a, a tough deal because you know I'm an outside guy. Uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of active. I like to go outside. I like to walk around. I like to do whatever. And um, I tell you, this this is uh, this is kind of getting me a little, I guess. Uh, cabin crazy you know i'm i'm ready to i'm ready to bust out but but it is a great experience and like i said uh the closer we get i think the uh you know tomorrow for instance it'll be good because we go to austin to practice so so the kids will experience something new they'll experience a new place a new you know they'll get to see you know the campus and you know a lot of different things so those are all positive things and cool things and uh you know you just wish that um, like I said, you know, we're in a great motel and the, the motel people are great. And half of our rooms, you're looking right down over the river walk. <laughs> you know, you you see all that activity going on and, you know, you can't be part of it. And that's kind of tough. But on the other hand, you're here, uh, you know, you tell them you, what, what you are. You're here to, you know, you're here to try to win a game. And uh, sometimes you have to make those sacrifices. Gerald, uh, speaking of that experience, I know social media has blown up here recently with some of the players in the tournaments taking pictures of the weight room and some of the food there. Uh, you know, so I guess their way of showing the difference, I guess, between the resources the women's teams have compared to the men. Um, do you have thoughts on that? And is there, I guess, work to do to make that more equal in your eyes? Well, I, I, I yeah, I think that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm old school. The, the weight room stuff, it's to me, that's, I know it's uh, what I've seen is uh, I'm not a social media guy. So no, I, I don't really know what's out there. Uh, I know coaches have, have, you know, had some comments about them, so on and so forth. Um, you know, I, I just think that right now, I think the NCAA down here, they're doing the best that they can uh, given the situation that we have, you know uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's like, it's like our motel, you know, uh, our motels trying to do everything they can to accommodate us with, with food and, you know, our meals and everything. But just like they said, they, they don't have the staff right now. I mean, they just, they weren't ready. And, 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 and when I say they weren't ready, the, the governor, you know, just kind of let laxed everything, you know, like last week or 10 days ago. And, and, you know, they just didn't have the staff back yet to, to get everything that, that you need to have done. Now they're, they're working their butts off and, you know, yeah, you're getting food. It might not be the food that, you know, we're used to, but you know what, it, you, you just, you have to be able to, you know, you have to be able to live with it. Do should, should everything be equitable? Sure. In the real world, everything should be equitable. I don't follow the man right now. I, I don't, I had a game, I was watching the Utah state game, but I don't, I don't know everything that the man get or don't get, but I would hope, I would hope that in the big picture, you know, given, given this, this virus, given this pandemic, uh, the other thing that I don't know, uh, and, and it's kind of an interesting thing, we all we forget already that not every state, not every county, not every city has the same set of rules. So when we start comparing with the men, I don't know what the, what the state of Indiana has. I don't know what the city of Indianapolis has. I don't know. You know, like we were talking. Uh, just in a, we, we had a, a call with the, you know, some of the NCA reps here and we're talking about, you know, the possibilities, for instance, of uh, just catering in some meals, you know, like, like we do normally on the road. Well, they're, that's out of their control because it's, 
it's the city of San Antonio or the county, one or the other uh, health ordinance says you can't do that. So, you know, there's just things that you just, you just have, you just have to deal with and, and, and get by. Uh, not, not everything's, you know, perfect, but you know, to me, you're here. Um, you gotta go, you're going to go play. You get the chance to go play. You, you gotta make sometimes a little bit of sacrifice and, but, if there's inequities, I, I don't think there should be huge inequities, but I, I don't follow enough social media to know to know what that is. Last thing I have for you, coach, and this might be a little bit of a stupid question, but you know, you don't ask stupid questions. Don't ask stupid questions because I'll have to go all bell check on you and stuff, man. Don't don't ask stupid questions. I, I can take it. I can take whatever you got. Intellectual question. Okay, what is it? No, so UCLA is ranked number nine in the country. The last time you played a ranked team was Gonzaga in your second game of the year. Is there anything to take away from that Gonzaga game, or have you grown too much since then? <laughs> um, um, thanks for bringing up that nightmare. I really appreciate that. You know, you're right. I, we talk, we've talked to that. We've addressed that with the kids, um, with our players, and said, hey, you know what? Uh, we're a different team. We're a different team defensively. I mean, you're right. It was our second game. Um, we, we, at that point, we were just, we were struggling to score. We, we, we defended decently, but still didn't have the big scheme, scheme of things in, but you know, um, yeah, we're different. Uh, I know, I know, like I said, this very talented team we're going to play. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to kid my team. I'm not going to kid anybody. This is a, this is a huge, this is a huge challenge. It's a huge task ahead of us, but as, uh, Probably Tracy's is older than me, so he'll understand this. And they say that's that's why you play it. I mean, that's why you play the game. You know, um, it's why you toss the ball up. You don't know on any given night. You don't know. And you know, over my years as a player, I've been on both ends of that. You know, I've been on the end where you were supposed to get beat, and that night you didn't. And I've been on the end where you were supposed to win and you got beat. And you know, you just that's why you play. But I know the task is going to be huge. Uh, but what I do know, um, what I feel really, really good about at least is I know this team, they'll come and they'll lay their, they'll, they'll lay it all on the line, uh, no matter what happens. They, they will lay it on the line. And if we pull off something or if we get beat by two or three or we get beat by 30, I know when we walk off on Monday night, they will have given up me, this team, the state, the school themselves. Every, everything that they have. And, and, you know, that's, that's why you got to feel good about this group. 